Hello, I'm Dwight Norris of FishingTheWork.com, and today we're going to be reviewing the Berkeley Jaywalker 100. Stay tuned. So, we're going to be trying out this Berkeley Jaywalker 100 made by Justin Lucas, professional fisherman. You can see him in the back, right there. He made this design. And it's uh, four inches, half ounce, pot boy lure. It's the whopper lure, it's a stick bait. So when you jerk it repeatedly, it's gonna move like this over and over again across the surface, making a lot of noise with the rattles, with the splashing, just like you see out here. Uh, of course, you're not gonna see a splash now from all the blue black herring, but they're splashing, and this is gonna be a similar color. It has a blue back, I did that on purpose, light silver bottom, and this is what it does. I'm going to try to get it on video. No, no. I am going to get it on video. And you're going to see. So I'm going to have to chop this video up a little bit. But let's get to it. It's pretty easy to use. And make sure you have a stiffer rod than I do. Stick with a bait caster. Stick with braided line. If you can get the best braided line, which I have a, a blog post about. It's the... It's drawing the plate right now. I'll get back to you on that. But it's the it's Ultra 8, and it has a it has something special about it. And I'll talk to you about that later. So let's get started in this review. As you can see, you can see the water. You can see this sweet Berkeley J. Walker 100. Very shiny. See the eyeball. Has that nice dark back. Has the speckles on this side. Cylindrical bait. Big. Big treble hooks and some markings on the bottom. Have you that? Berkeley J Walker 100. That's what it says. See it? Not necessary. Okay, let's try this out. You're going to see the walking pattern right here. I'm going to try to cast it right where you can see. I'll just flip it first. You see that? Thank you. Let's get it closer. You might have to zoom in for the video a little bit. We'll get to the corner. You can even do pauses once you do a movement. So you have to put a pretty decent pattern left to right. Grass on the dome, a little grass. Comes off. Some walk in there, so you can't see. So, I can see my video, but I want to make sure that you're capturing the walking pattern. I don't see. Oh, here. I know it's a new view. It's going from side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side. Check the rhythm of my uh, of my rod when you do that. Go back up there a couple times now. I also see some guys in the boat using a very large herring or something. As bait and it's alive. Like, I think he caught a herring and he's using it. That's cool. We cast a little further now. See what we can really do. Woo! Clean.
going across the river. This footwork better. Almost looks like a snake going across the water too. That's the way the jaywalk kind of looks. We might get off rhythm for a second. If we keep going, we'll get back on rhythm. The real thing with this bait is it's trying to get attention. It's trying to make noise. It's trying to make a rhythm and a movement on top of the water like a bay fish does. That's the whole point. Slow down the retrieve a little bit, it actually gets off base more. It needs to be a good rhythm. Check out the rod better. Oops. Hit something. Yep, hit a leaf. Saw it dive for a second. I was like, oh, something must have found the way. Yeah, a tree. Um, I really wish there was a way to get higher elevation. I don't have my tripod with me, but. Ooh, what can I do? What can I do? Let's try this out. Got my side view. Cast it out. That's a better view, probably. I'll in the video, and I do it. Put my uh, chest cam on, which I bought specifically for this. Next time. So, let's see what's happening with the lure. How it works. And this is definitely a tool you want to use. So I hope that you got some good information from this very short review of the Berkeley Jaywalker 100. It has great coloring, great movement. The side to side, side, to side action is good. It's a little bit of rolling, but nothing that's like too abnormal. And the rattles are really loud. Even the size of the four inches, it's really good. It could be a little longer, but it's really good for replicating blueback herring. And probably several other things like uh, Minhaden or uh, Alewife or some types of shad. But this is, I believe this is more of an opportunity style bait. One that you want to use when there's like, you know, bait runs coming from the ocean or wherever else. If there's spawning going on or if you see open schools in open water, and you want to hit the edges of them to see if you can get yourself a frisky bass. But overall, fantastic lore. Can't recommend them any more than I already have because I love Berkeley. So that's that. If you have any questions or need more information, you can always hit the contact page at fishnetwork.com. You can also see more of these videos if you look down below and click the subscribe button, if you have any questions, you can comment and hit that bell. And that will alert you when I make new videos so you can be the first to watch and give me some kind of feedback. Now, if you go really early in my videos, you will see all the solutions, all the answers you need to go fish at work. But if you need more help, I do have an online course for you. And it's only $4.99. Fantastic. Don't have a direct link to it on my website yet, but I will add one in the next week or so. You can also get through it to the quiz builder. That's on the front of the page. But if you want it now, and you want it for $4.99, then contact me, and I'll send you the link. And if you give me an honest feedback for all the sections in it, I'll give you a refund. If you give me value, I'll give you value. If you give me value, you give me value. That's the way, you know, that's the way things work in the world. You do this too, and you people just can't take 100%. It's a give and take world. So, 
do me a solid to help me out. Figure out what I need to do to help you go fishing more often. Right now, I see a lot of people going fishing more often for striped bass during this blue guy period. People I've never seen before. And I've, I fish here a lot, you know that. And people are popping out of the woodwork, just like that blue guy carrying that just popped over there. So I'm gonna continue fishing for a few more minutes, see if I can grab myself a striper. And you should think about doing something the same. Get fishing. <laughs>